Hey y'all, it's Lorna. I am here with my June 2020 Wantable. Now, funny, funny story. Um, I shot this video about a month ago when it was still June and my hair was cute and I put makeup on and like had cute surroundings, sitting by the fireplace, had my dog next to me. And then we got doing a bunch of stuff. We edited that video and it sat on the desktop and I thought that I uploaded it like weeks ago. And when I realized I didn't, I went back to the desktop, I'm looking around, it's gone. We deleted it, it's into the universe at this point. So I'm redoing it and uh, forgive me, I threw some mascara on and some chapstick and I took a bath today and here I am, I am just sitting in my living room on the floor because my child is down for a nap and that is how we do things in this house now. So here we go. My first item that I got was this, it was this purple tie-dye shirt and they sent me one just like it in blue back when I was pregnant and like maybe last, maybe last August, last August or September maybe. I don't know. I didn't keep it then. I didn't like it. I, I liked it better this time, but still did not end up keeping it. It was comfortable and it's got like a, you know, like a real knit fabric. So it was gonna pull very, very easily. And I have cats and uh, an eight and an eight month old. So, you know, and so I did not keep that one. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun to edit. So much fun. Ooh, he's stirring, okay. Next is this yellow v-neck top that has like the little X pattern at the neck. And I did not think I was gonna keep this. Like there was nothing like really, really special about it, but I did end up keeping it. It's comfortable. I realized that I don't really have that many yellow tops. I've got lots of blue, lots of green, lots of purple. I don't really have yellow, so I kept it. Next is this uh, floral top that is very much not me at all. It's super dressy and like the patterns really like, like there's floral patterns and then there's like floral patterns. And this one was the one that I don't like. And it just wasn't my style. I was never gonna wear it. It was comfortable, it was cute. It had the little ties at the, um, at the arms and uh, crisscrossed in the front and was longer in the back. Very, very cute. Not me, not me at all. Sent that back. Next, there was a pair of high-waisted skinny jeans and I wasn't sure if I was going to fit in them or not. They were um, uh, my pre-pregnancy size, but they fit just fine. And ultimately, I sent these back only because I have a weird issue with high-waisted jeans. Like they just kind of start to, like my lower back starts to hurt. I don't know if I just have a weak core or what, but they looked really good. They were very comfortable for the most part, but like even just like wearing them for that short period of time, I could feel my back starting to hurt. Maybe I just need to wear high-waisted jeans more often. Um, I sent them back, super cute, but I sent them back. Um, Next it was this um, really simple gray dress. It was very, very comfortable and it tied in the front. Now, I tied it in the front and it looked really cute. I tied it in the back and it didn't look as cute and I thought that was weird because normally when you tie something in the back, it's gonna look really cute. But I tied it in the front and I just, I'm still pretty self-conscious about my belly and like sucking in and everything and I just felt like that was probably going to hinder my ability to suck my tummy in. It was comfy and I guess I could have just kept it and like cut the ties off, but then like, what's the point? I sent it back. Next is this um, really, really soft, light blue, teal, aquamarine, whatever color you wanna call it. It's really nice sweater and I love a lightweight sweater love a lightweight sweater. I kept this. It was so comfortable and just like nice and easy to be in. And I know I said earlier that I have cats and that was why I wasn't going to keep that other knit top, but obviously it doesn't count when it's an amazing turquoise teal aquamarine sweater. So I kept that sweater. And the 
um, like the Bahama shorts that I am wearing with them. That was the last item and I kept those as well. They are really, really cute and they fit and um, I just really liked them. I don't really have a lot of crazy shorts so I decided I would keep those too. Um, overall, this was a pretty good uh, edit. That's what they call it. Wantables have edits. This was a good edit. I felt like, you know, I don't really give them a whole lot of direction. I just sort of like to see what they come up with for me. Like they have um, access to my Pinterest page that has like clothes and stuff on it from years and years ago. So like they've got that. But I just kind of like to see what they send me. I'm, I feel like I'm kind of in this like weird limbo with my style right now. Um, I'm just now getting to where I can fit into my pre-pregnancy clothes again. And so I find myself like sort of in this like weird phase with like, do I still like this stuff? I don't know. I There was a year of my life where I couldn't really buy clothes that I could be committed to. So I just kind of like seeing what they'll send me just for fun. Um, and I thought um, I thought they sent me some really fun stuff. I I think keeping three items of seven is pretty good, and that doesn't get you the twenty percent discount, but that's okay. And um, overall, I'm looking forward to my next one. I think I'm getting Wantable every. Let's see, eight, I must be getting Wantable every two months and Stitch Fix every three months. So. Um, in fact, my Stitch Fix box came the other day, and so I need to do that for July. And that will be posted hopefully not in August, um, <laughs> hopefully in the month of July. Not like this video at all. But guys, that was my June 2020 Wantable. I kept three of seven items. I think they're a lot of fun to try. $20 styling fee totally worth it and you don't have to do it every month so no hard commitment i hope everybody's staying safe we are trying to do our best here in new orleans we certainly wish that we could go out and do more things and i wish that i could socialize my baby and show him off and have people hold him and everything but we can't and that's sort of hard and frustrating but we will somehow power through Anyway, guys, that was my review, and I hope to see you guys next time. Subscribe to my page. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter or both if you're feeling fancy, and I will see you guys next time.